Good morrow to you and welcome to the Baron's News Desk, covering the latest happenings and goings on in the world of tabletop card gaming. The following information comes from the Magic the Gathering website, magic.wizards.com. It's unbelievable, unheard of, unusual, it's unique, and it's unfathomably fun. It's unsanctioned. Yes, the newest unset has been announced by Wizards of the Coast and is set to release on February 29th, 2020. In case you are unfamiliar, unsets are silver bordered cards that are not actually legal in the traditional Magic the Gathering formats. These unsets are typically used for drafting purposes or for those that like to design magic cubes. These onsets are Wizards of the Coast opportunity to let their hair down and simply let the creative juices flow. Why, judging simply by this piece of artwork, we can see that we are able to tread into territory that we don't normally see in the Magic the Gathering ethos. Unsanctioned contains five combinable 30-card silver-bordered decks for wacky unfun. Each copy of Unsanctioned contains the following. 5 30-card decks, 2 6-sided dice, 10 double-sided tokens, 10 full art basic lands, 5 regular and 5 premium, and 1 reusable box. This set shall contain 16 brand new unset cards, including many reprints from the previous unsets. It will also include black-bordered new basic lands with unique artwork. Now, there is something rather unique going on here, as each copy of Unsanctioned has five 30-card decks. Therefore, I believe we can assume that you are intended to take any two of those five decks and combine them together to create your typical 60-card deck. And the fact that it contains two six-sided dice also seems to indicate that this set will include a number of cards that will require you to roll dice. And finally, with the full art basic lands, they specifically call out that you get five regular and five premium, although they do not necessarily distinguish the difference between a regular or a premium land. One of my favorite previous unsets was unstable due to the contraption mechanic that added a new ability to create contraptions that could trigger multiple times throughout a game. I would very much like to see a reprint and new additions of contraptions in this set. For those of you that have played unsets before, which cards and or mechanics would you like to see return in Unsanctioned? Before we get to our second story, I would like to remind you to hit that like button down there below the video. It is extremely helpful to ensure that other commoners will discover shows such as the Baron's News Desk and Arista Cards. You are also telling YouTube that you enjoy this type of content and therefore it will make suggestions of other types of videos that you might enjoy. Our second story makes the announcement of a new mystery booster of which details shall be revealed at Magic Fest Richmond November 8th through the 10th. Now, admittedly, there's not much to go off of here. However, we can make some deductive reasoning as to what these mystery boosters could possibly entail. Now, first of all, on the packaging, it does state that it is a convention edition, meaning that there could very likely be further editions. Perhaps there could be a local game store edition or an online edition. There could be many editions of these mystery boosters. Another piece of knowledge we have is that it usually takes Wizards of the Coast between two to three years to create a new set of cards if this is truly a new set or a reprinting of one. If WotC has been listening to the desires of their players over the past few years, I believe we can look back at some of the more popular cards in the various formats between the years of 2016 and 2017 as prime candidates for possible reprints in these boosters. Now, at face value, as it seems that these mystery boosters are going to be some form of prize support, it is likely that we are going to see either foil or altered art versions 
versions of previously printed cards. However, my personal wish is that they would stop doing these extended art cards that creep out into the border of the card. Uh, for example, as they have done with many of the Throne of Eldraine cards, or as they have done with the previous box topper cards. Either make the card with a border or make it borderless. Doing this halfway in between thing completely throws off the feng shui of the card. And considering Watsi's track record with printing foils, I would also prefer that these be non-foil cards. What are your thoughts on these mystery boosters, commoners? What requests would you have of cards you would like to see in them, and requests of cards that you would not like to see in them? Be sure to like and subscribe, and view many of my entertaining and informative videos here on Aristocards. Until next time, cheers.